<laughs> I can't do it that loud. Oh! You give me one oh! more. There we go. All right. That's what he look. I got to check the level on that because I know he going to uh, spike it. Ah! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's different when them headphones get on. Yep. Alright, 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 alright. Your man DJ Silver Knight Party Fanatic. We are in the building, but first whiskey, you know how it goes down, man. Once again at Cole, doing our thing, about to get our eat on, get our drink on at 11.30 in the morning. And I got my brother down for life. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Geeked Up, Geeked Geek Up. Up. My boy Fable is in the building. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, man you hey, know, man. I, appreciate you for me. I thank you for coming, man. Listen, I showed up, he was already waiting on me. <laughs> That's the first one, man. Yeah. That's the first. Yeah, I, I heard you had some liquor. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, man, I saw you parking. Uh, <laughs> was that whiskey he got out of there? <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Listen, man, we're going to get into like some old stuff. Yeah. We're going to get into some new stuff. Yeah. But first, but first, whiskey. Let's go. Brianna, can you pour us up some shots, please? <laughs> That's Brianna over there, y'all. Hey, Brianna. What's going on? We just gonna gonna do two, gonna do two of them. What's been up, man? Hey, man, just working, man, working. Yeah, everything is great. You just had some shows last night, right? Yeah. Ooh, she poured that tall. Wow. She poured that tall. Man, Ooh. what time is it again? <sighs> oh. Don't look at don't 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 even you don't want to know. Gee whiz. You don't want to know. <laughs> All right, but first whiskey. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh Lord, how much? <laughs> to longevity. <laughs> to longevity. Tap it down. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Uh, oh my goodness. Breckenridge bourbon whiskey. Mm. Yeah. Brecken and Ridge mm. both. 86 proof. All right, let me finish it. Oh, you ain't finished yours. Oh, damn, I'm, out. I'm already getting hot. I think it's in my ear. It's, a, <laughs> it's already a problem. Let me wow. come on. I thought I was gonna be cool with the blue jean shirt on, Fabo. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> ain't gonna work, man. Uh, Ain't gonna work. So down for life, man. Yeah. How'd you uh, How'd you get started in music? Not even just rapping, yeah. but but you have a history. Yeah. Like like you you musically inclined. You play keyboard. Yeah. How'd you get started? I mean, um, it's always been there. You know, when you're sitting around the house and your mama have you come downstairs or whatever. My mama was like, what you call the bootleg. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All while I was in school, I was in high school and all of these things. Mm hmm. And. Uh, you know, so everybody used to be on my house all the time buying blunts, buying right, cigarettes, right, buying right, this, that, that, right, and another. Right. So the oh, you can, you can bring it in. Yeah. You can start bringing the food in. Yeah. We're going to need it. <laughs> We're going to need it. So the music is always playing. You know, the the, the house is always jamming. It's always yeah. some old people in yeah. there, you know, for liquor, this, that, yeah. that, and another. So it's just always around. You know, my mama having me come downstairs singing for people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, She had you singing and dancing? Yeah. Were you dancing nah, then? No, nah, nah, I've never really been a dancer. Okay. You know, okay. That, that just kind of came out the primetime days yeah. or whatever. <laughs> we go talk about primetime. Yeah, you yeah. know, you, it's, it's like the rest of that just came along. You know, when you're in the hood, you're just a hustler. Right, right, you know, right. So, it was basically my hustle before this. I never danced a, uh, a rap in my life. It's, it was right. more singing the Joda Seas, the H Town, right, the right, right. you know, trying to be one of those. I mean, you're singing your music now, so it's not like you you yeah, you, you more sing than, yeah. than rap. It's, it's, it's always know. singing, never right. rapping. It's right, just, you right. know, it's, it's always been rock star. Right, right. You know, I always looked at myself like that, like yeah. never, you know, because when I came up, you had to run DMCs and the NWAs and all of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, even though I was from the spot. My mama had us in church all the time, right, so right. you know I wouldn't live in that lifestyle. Man, we ordered a lot saying? of food. Jesus. Yeah. I didn't realize we ordered as much food. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. I wouldn't live in that lifestyle. So the music always been there. Yeah, it's just you know it had to be tapped into. Right, right, right. So let me ask you this, man. You've been, you've been doing it for a minute. Yeah. You know, prime time is when I was at prime time. That's at least over ten years yeah. now, right? Yeah. Yeah. You you know working on it before then. Yeah. How do you? Hey, somebody, somebody, tell them we ain't here right now. <laughs> <laughs> that might be Scotty. <laughs> Here's the call. Scotty. That was the first shot. He you know he called around the third shot. Scotty's calling me. <laughs> I forgot my fucking question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um. I had a good one too. Oh no! So, mm -hmm. what keeps you going? You, you're still so energetic. Yeah. You you still you still have all this energy like like from the beginning. Yeah. How do you you know as they say keep how do you keep that same energy, man? Wow. How is that possible? Man, to tell you the truth, I I feel like, you know, I missed out on a lot. Just getting mm. into the world, you know, mm. at a when I say getting into the world, it's like 
people don't know where you're from, the projects or whatever, nine times out of ten, you only have that store, right. that gas station. Right, right. You right. know, your mama kind of getting that check every month. Right, uh, the right. food stamp. Yep. That's about as far as you go. See, yeah. people don't know how privileged they have it because, you know, I always see these people say, pull your boot scraps up and all that. That's cool and mm -hmm. all or whatever mm -hmm. because everybody do deserve an opportunity and there, there is a lot of opportunity out here. Right, right. But when your apartment sit a mile away from everything else, Right. And all you got is the public transportation. It's right. like a dollar and seventy five cents, and you can't get a dollar and seventy five cents. Right. You know that's the crazy part. Yeah. So at about fourteen to fifteen, you know, some of us we make it past that gas station. Yeah. yeah. And you like, wow, all of this is out here, you know. Yeah. yeah. So you know, I think once you step out into the world, you know, mm -hmm. when you come from mm -hmm. from from a spot like that, it's like I missed a lot of stuff. You, you know what I mean? Right. So right. Nowadays, even at this age, I feel like I still got a lot to do because. It was like mm. 28 years before mm. I got a deal. So mm. it's like 28 years I was suppressed to a certain extent. So now you're so like, yeah, I'm not letting it go. Every day I wake up, it's like, what, what y'all want to do? Y'all want to go to Six Flags? Y'all want to go to Whitewater? You want to go to Dave & Buster? Let's just go shoot some pool. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. You just, I want to sit here. Yeah. You, you know? feel like you're just getting started? Yeah. Basically, I feel yeah. like a new artist. Like yeah. I'm, I got, I got, like I was telling you earlier, I got my yeah. sandwiches in my bag. And yeah. These, these yeah. new artists got to watch yeah. out. Yeah. You know, yeah. With the look, internet, look he's, he said he's got his lunch packed. Yeah. He ready. Yeah. Every day. That's what's up. Look, look, my nephew all late. He just coming in. He's supposed to come help. <laughs> come help with the with the bootleg podcast, the butt whisk, but first uh, whiskey. Yeah, he must look have got a hook to the bottle in the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, he look, he look, he in school. He he had a lab. He said, Uncle, I'm on the way. I got a lab. I'm five minutes away. That was that was 30 minutes ago. <laughs> you know five minutes is 30 minutes in yeah, Atlanta. You know it. Yeah. What's up, nephew? Don't try to call your you made uh, it. Your gas man in Atlanta. You no. Know. He's gonna say five minutes. <laughs> So, hey, man, everybody wants to know, man, did you ever get your help? Who is Barbara? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nah. Did, you, did anybody ever help you? Yeah, help? I, I mean, definitely the help is always <laughs> there, you know. When you hear me screaming for help, and that's crazy that you ask that, too, because, yeah. you know, we make a lot of crazy mistakes when we're young mm -hmm. that we still judge from. Mm -hmm. Me, myself, you know, it's like I think I'm like this Snoop Dogg type of shit. Like, yeah, I could yeah. never tell you that I'm not, you know, that right, person right, until right. you meet me. Right. But, uh. You know, you tell them about these experiences because this is what I see. Mm -hmm. This is mm -hmm. what I'm around. Yeah, right. So That's what I, you know. When you, when you see it, say I'm geeked up. It's like my uncle smoked crack. Mm -hmm. My auntie smoked crack. Mm -hmm. Everybody around me smoked crack. Mm -hmm. But it's like I smoke more weed than they smoke crack. I drink more alcohol. Like this fifth right here. We doing, we doing like, drinking like, right like now. Say, say we go to the store and we buy two fifths. Mm -hmm. But you got this bum. He's standing in front of the liquor store all mm -hmm. day long just trying to get a pint. Mm -hmm. You drinking more than him. Well, real. So Facts. does that make you a bomb Facts. too? You, you feel what I'm saying? Because you're Ooh, drinking two fifths. Good he point. just take the pint and down it and good fall asleep point. in front of the liquor store. But mm. you take two fifths home and serve the whole party. Mm. But you see what I'm saying? That's a good point. So I just felt like if I'm looking at my uncle, if he geeked up, then I'm geeked up. Yeah. You know. And yeah. uh, at first it was, you know, more of a, you know, bad word to the hood. But now, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of mm -hmm. like a term of endearment, like right, nigga. Right. You feel what I'm saying? You, right. In every rap song, I'm geeked up, you know, right. and it don't have to be no crack or no right. cocaine well, or we, no we pills. Can be, we, we, we getting geeked up right now. Third shot, Scotty gonna call. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about this one. Might be the second one. <laughs> hey, I, I think it was the first. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, like I said, music always been there, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So so down for life. It's yeah. they're they're still together. Mook, uh, yeah. brother Mook everybody's B. Still everybody's there. still together, yeah. right? Yeah. And we you know R. I. P. Shawty. Yeah. R. I. P. That was, that was gonna, oh man. Shawty. Miss that dude, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Miss that guy. dude. Great guy. So y'all still performing? Yeah. Still yeah. still making did music. Freak Nick. Just did Freak Nick. Dude. How was Freak Nick? Somebody grandmama was out. There. <laughs> oh. Walking down the street. Oh, now that's funny. Trying to. <laughs> Trying to flag somebody to come behind the tree, and we trying no. to tell her, look, this is not the 90s. No. You can't do it outside Grandma. no more like that. They got cameras. <laughs> oh, help me. <laughs> no, nah, man, but help I, I me. thought it was dope. Help me. It wasn't as live as I wanted it to be. But you know, it ain't going to never be like the that's original. The help. That's the, the original. help. See, that's the help right there. That's, so my grandma gave me the help I needed. No, it'll, never, like, it'll never be original. What you want to try first? What are we doing? That, that's, um, that's cooked. That's raw. Let's try to cook. Like, All right, bring that, bring that. Come on, nephew, bring that, bring that in there for yeah, me. Yeah, I don't want to be sitting right here. On. This is the uh, the Thai salmon. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, thanks for presenting. <laughs> Look how he presented. He said, "I'm gonna come in here and work for you." Huh? <laughs> he got yeah. the chopsticks and everything. Yeah, over here. man. You know how to use. You know how to use them. Oh yeah, definitely know how to use the chopsticks. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. You need some soy. Uh, huh? Maybe. 
All right. Maybe just a little. Okay. Uh, Brianna. Is she over there? Oh, no. Nah, we was good. We good? Yeah, we was good. Yeah, try it. Bust it in there, man. But we don't need chops for this right now. Nah, here, we just grab it. Okay, we're going to do it that way. Yeah, I'm with I it. Mean, this is just. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that's dope. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorites. Shout out to Cole. Cole, man. Cole does it. So tell mm. me about. Mm. Growing up in Bankhead, man. Wow. Give me, give me, give me one of your your favorite growing up stories that that really <laughs> speaks to that really speaks to Bankhead and what Bankhead no, see, is. See, uh, I, was. my mom, my mom was one of them moms that stayed with her mom. Mm. So I was born in Bankhead, but I mm -hmm. grew up in Perry Homes. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know. Okay, and um, which Perry Homes was the largest project in Atlanta, and uh, right. so. Uh, I mean, you know, like I said, I was a church boy. Mm -hmm. You know, mama had you out there calling me your afro. Mm -hmm. You know, I was young Dinkin, I was teaching Sunday school, all of that type mm -hmm. of stuff. Mm -hmm. When you come to the hood, I'm the dude that's putting chairs out there on mm. the sidewalk where the preacher can preach. Yep. Like, that, wow. that dude. So, wow. you know, I wasn't part of that crowd that was just going crazy. That's right. You know, that came later. A little sweat. <laughs> if you need it. Mm hmm Definitely. Thank you. So, our wonderful waitress. I know, She's right? dope. She keeps having to answer the phone, though. We got her running back and forth. <laughs> we got her working her ass off. They got to put the phone on vibrator at the uh, uh, oh. restaurant. Wait, you said vibrator. On vibrator. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, now that's fun. <laughs> I told you Scotty coming up in the first shot. <laughs> and we got a drink pour, too. Yeah, man, but I, um, you know, I was born in Bankhead on the sofa. Mm -hmm. On the sofa, so you know, okay. just that type of family. No phone, yeah. no nothing. You yeah. know what I mean? Somebody else had to one, call one, one, on in, one on internet. No, not one that. on Instagram. And uh, I came. I was just ready to get here. Yeah. And so you know, came out on the sofa. You mm -hmm. know, my mama stayed with her mama there, and she got her own apartment in Perry Home, and I kind of grew up there. Okay. And um, when I got out of prison in uh, '99, I went to prison mm -hmm. in '97, mm -hmm. and I got out in '99. It was like uh, I came home, and the whole Apartments was gone, like the whole pair of homes was gone. They dropped them, tore them it down. It was like Rebuilt. one side and like four buildings. Right. And so we right. came out there just like, what the hell are we going to do? Right, right. And, uh, and that's when I started walking up to the pool palace. You see what pool I'm saying? Palace. Yes, sir. So the pool palace was like a mile and a half yep. away from Perry Homes. So yep. if anybody know Perry Homes, it's like you got like three sets of houses mm -hmm. before and, and apartments Keeping before you water. get there. So I'm fighting on the way to the pool palace right. too. Right. Cause right. Because it's like three hoods on the way to the pool palace. Right. Right. You know. Yeah. yeah. You got two thousand. You got Archer Heights. You got uh, Flipper Temple. And you so, got so you had to you Park. had to fight for that entertainment. I had to fight to make that hundred dollars. Like you know so. That was basically so I didn't really grow up in Bankhead. I grew up in Perry Homes. Okay. You okay. See what I'm saying? And okay. that pool palace was the outlet. Like when I started going to the pool palace, the mm -hmm. pool palace moved to Bankhead. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, you having that dual relationship with Bankhead because all right. my family was in Bankhead, but my mom got an apartment in Perry in Homes. Perry so Homes. every day we was in Bankhead, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I stayed in Perry Homes. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. So gotcha. by the time I got to the pool palace, it was just that reconnection with. Yep. Everybody who you knew from school and right, everybody. Right. So yeah, it was just, it was an easy transition though. Wow. So how'd you end up uh, coming over to primetime? Um, Shawty Low. Yeah. I mean, R.I.P. Yeah. Shawty, yeah, man. We, all, we, we always had Shawty up in there, man. Let me tell you something, man. Shawty did not like to sleep. Like for some yeah. reason, he had a grudge against sleep. Wow. Like, I'm telling you, like, dude, I, I see this dude <clears throat> with his head on the window right now. It's like, yo, it's time to go home. Uh, uh, Central Station still open? I'm like, yo, wait a minute. <laughs> like, you know. And it was. <laughs> yeah, it was. Central State. You talking like, about in Hate Hateville like, Central like, Station? Like if you if you if you was at Central Station at that time, yeah. you could see Shawty Lord and Hard Nard sitting on the front two pools. That's real. Like this. That's real. Like this. That's real. Like you couldn't go in and out the door without seeing them. Two. Who, who was DJing in? Uh, Ki was Kizzy? Oh, no, no, no. I was no. at prime time. You was at prime time. Kizzy Rock was over at. Uh, Kizzy Rock. That was uh -huh. Kizzy Rock. Yeah. Jelly might have been over Shout there out too. To DJ Kizzy Rock. Yeah. Too, man. Kizzy yeah. Rock is a cool dude. Man, I met Kizzy when I was going when I first got out of high school when I used to uh, go to Clayton State. Oh no. Nah, and he had a t he had a town. Home. I got a Kizzy Rock story. He had a town home right by I got Clayton. a Kizzy Rock story. Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. I, I, I think Kizzy Rock don't like me. Why? Because I didn't run my so, uh, social media page. I, didn't, I wasn't running my social media page. I guess he reached out at some point in time. This and, is recently? Yeah. Uh, well, maybe, maybe I guess a couple of years ago, because when I seen him, he chewed me out. I was like, yo, <laughs> I do not know what you're talking about. You don't run it now. Dude, I was like, dude, I'll wash your car right now. Like, like I wash your car. You just, just to watch. show, just to like, show you. I'm telling right. him this, like, like, dude, I love you. Like, he was like, nah, you crazy. I'm like, dude, I'm not really crazy. You see all these hundred people with me? They all geek. 
we got a handshake, like kind of been around the world together. Like I've mm -hmm. traveled with like 10, 11 people. Like, mm -hmm. dude, I'm not really crazy. Mm -mm. I'm like, no, Scotty calling you. I'm like, Kizzy, like, let me talk to you for a minute. That's, he, that's he didn't want to hear it. He didn't want to hear it. I was like, well, I'm, can I'm I just a, watch the car to let you know? We're going to call Kizzy <laughs> after this <laughs> and tell him, come get a shot. Yeah, but it was crazy, though. We kind of talk. I, I even went to Raheem. I was like, "Yo, tell him I don't mm -hmm, run my mm -hmm. social media page." Like he was like, "I guess he reached out and I somebody said something to him." I picked you on on Instagram, I, oh, and, I, and I, I, I figured I, that. I'm I figured. 150 percent engaged now. Like, okay, you you there? Because okay. of the Kizzy Rock situation, my dude was like, about, he like six four. Like imagine somebody six four walking. Kizzy up ain't to no you. small dude, man. Yeah, and I was like, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Give you applause for that. <laughs> you got jokes, man. <laughs> you got motherfucking jokes. <laughs> I still watch Kizzy Rock's car. He is a, he's a legend. Hey, Kizzy, right now. He's a legend. He wants to listen. You I gotta, will wash your, car, wash your car to let you know that I, you're going to get the tire shiny and all that. Man, the wheel cleaner, everything. <laughs> I'm, the window. I got the newspaper in my car and we don't even sell them no more. <laughs> I got newspaper for you, dude. Tell me about this new single, man. Tell me about the, the new music. The, the, yeah. what's, what's happening new? Well, basically, you know, I named the project The Jedi Return. Mm -hmm. I'm a big Star mm. Wars fan. You know, great big old Star Wars fan, big Star Trek fan. Now, we doing an actual album or mixtape No, style? actually, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm just the last Jedi. You feel okay. what I'm saying? You know, the last original one. Mm -hmm. I look mm -hmm. at it as, you know, you only have one Michael, one James. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And you can pick something out of everybody and mm -hmm. every artist, mm -hmm. you know, but can you just be totally that person? No, I can't be Michael. I can't be James Brown because right. there's something about them that was right. just special. Marvin Gaye is just something about him that was special. So it's the same <clears> thing with Fable. So you, wait, you saying you don't, you don't think you have something special? No, I'm saying that I'm one of the last originals. Ah, it's yes. all special. It's all special. It's all original. Okay, everything I'm about to say, get, man, because you special. You get, everything you're getting is not recycled. Yeah. No. Because you know, you're getting no. a lot of recycled no. stuff. This, you got to look at it as this is a capitalist country. Mm -hmm. So anything somebody else do, somebody else going to capitalize mm -hmm. off of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's hard to capitalize off original, uh, originality. Yeah. You can only get so many pieces or whatever yeah. because, like, uh, uh, I think I did something where I stood on my toes for, like, 30 Bro, seconds I, I or just saw like you that. do something like that. I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, that, that came from being on the mountains in mountains in Japan. Like I practiced that over and over and seeing you how did long that I could recently. Stand up. That you, was well, yesterday. Well, now I saw something. Was you was uh, that was the day before yesterday. That's crazy. Yeah, I was at um the Atlanta United Championship. Yes, game when with, with the, the silver shoes yeah, or something like that. I just posted that video. I, I I already had it. That's nuts, bro. The Jays on. With That's the Jays nuts, on. bro. Yeah. That's nuts. And the Jays didn't crease. That's nuts, bro. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, I'm kind of mad at you right now. I just thought about something. I'm mad at you. You know I'm mad yeah, at you. Yeah. You might have to wash my car, man. Oh man, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I I need to start a mobile detail service <laughs> just because the DJ kids are rock. You ain't bring no white sunglasses today, oh, man. man. Cole, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You ain't bring no white sunglasses today. Oh, okay, all right. Okay, all right. Come on. I, all right, all right. Okay, I feel better. My car can stay dirty now. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now two dollar here. Now listen, oh. two dollar <laughs> can double the money. Can double the money. Listen, man. Somebody told me. Yeah. I, you know, I interviewed Johnny, right? Yeah. He told me Laffy Taffy was was almost not dropped. It was a mistake. Laffy Taffy was a mistake. Wow. Yeah. That is still crazy to me. Because everybody look at me as the that last is Taffy guy. Crazy but to if me. you go do your history, I was the murder, murder, kill, kill guy uh -huh. before mm -hmm. Laffy Taffy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Every song I ever made killed three people in it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And uh, everybody was trying to get me to slow down. Kick I'm, so, I'm so glad nobody yeah, got killed. But I'm just saying, no, nobody got killed. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm so glad. laughs> no, but I mean, you know, coming from where I was from, being a church boy, yeah. having a fight because you was the church boy mm -hmm. or whatever, letting mm -hmm. people know. I'm from out here, though. Yeah. Don't get it yeah. wrong. And, uh, you know, going through that struggle and finally making it or whatever, you still feeling like, oh, I got to push. And then making a song like Laffy Taffy. Right, right. I made the song in the studio with a girl. She was dancing. It leaked out of the studio. Like, it was never a song that I would have right. put my money behind. Right, right. And I can hear Charlotte Lowe right now because he was in jail. Okay. I'm going to give you low whole conversation. Okay, give it to me. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Don't, don't do it, cuz. Don't, 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 don't put that song guy, cuz. Don't. Wait, start over, cuz I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing him right now. Hey, look, cuz. I, I swear, this, this, ain't, this, this ain't our style. This ain't, this ain't what we do. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and, and it really wasn't what we did. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. if you look at the first Bet You Can't Do It Like Me CD, yep. it was out a year yep. before Laffy Taffy came out. Right, right, right. And uh, we had on all black. Mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. it was just, 
you know, it was just the, I, like, I always tell people I'm a number one draft pick or something. Like mm -hmm. when I came, mm -hmm. it kind of changed the culture. But Lowe already had this whole establishment. He, he already had the structure. Right. He already had the whole hood behind him. It, it was nothing that I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I just came and did my job. You, right. you feel right. what I'm saying? Right. So right. if you got a, if you already got a team like the Lakers, mm. once you, uh, uh, let's go with the Warriors. Okay. Once you add a Kevin Durant or uh, something, you know what I mean? And I felt like at the time, right. at the pool palace, I'm like dominating the talent shows. Right, right. But if I'm not doing it, then somebody from that camp is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when we linked, it was like, wow. You wow. know, we actually did wow. a, um, I'm going to tell you who started it, the great okay. Yola. Oh, oh really? <laughs> Shout out to Yola, man. Really? Yola is the reason why all of this wow. is really, and nobody really want to give him his credit, but Yola is the reason why Franchise wow. and D4L link. Like, I'm in the hood every day with Parlay. I see him across the street. Right? Passing that glass right yeah. there, buddy. You see Low. Come on with it. You see Low is across the street. From uh, Parlay, his mm -hmm. base, his, the base is right across the street from where Parlay and uh, Lil Mark, which mm -hmm. is Front Street. Mm -hmm. So they trying to stay right here, and low base is across the street. So I moved from Bankhead into the base. <laughs> okay, so y'all was like right there at it. Yeah, but um, now you see, you you were like yeah, you we, started yeah. one of the founding members of D4L. No, 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 I'm not one of the founding members. Okay, yeah, I'm just I came along like way after, after like after they was already they was entity. already rocking the road. Yeah, they was an entity. Like this is okay. what I'm telling you. Like I've been knowing low since I was in high school. Okay. Like playing the drums in high mm -hmm, school. I was playing mm -hmm. tenor drums up at Archer High School. Mm -hmm. And he just ride by. He had like this bowling bowling ball looking, uh, I want to say Monte Carlo or Impala. Okay. I think okay. it was Impala. Okay. Uh, with 95, 94, 95, right mm -hmm. in there, whichever year that was. And it was just dope. Like it yeah. just looked like a whole bowling ball riding yeah. by. Yeah. Wow. And he'll stop. Wow. Man. He'll wow. stop the ice cream truck. He'll stop whatever truck is there. And, you know, because after school, you know, you up here, you hot. You mm -hmm. standing up mm -hmm. at the top of that mm -hmm. hill right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, he just was the right dude at the right time man yeah, yeah. and uh always around yeah he was always and all, always through. a great guy man yeah, every time guy. he came through prime time always just yeah. just humble just cool yeah. same as you yeah same as you yeah i mean i was taught that though like, yeah I, I, I used to drive for low so uh, there you I, go you know there before you i was you know full-fledged rapping i was i was a driver so yeah. You know, low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, job was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, listen. Say no more. Say no more. Say no more. So, it's not snap music. It's not snap music. It's geek music. It's geek music. Break that down. I mean, basically, it's, it don't have to be broken down. I mean, every rapper in this generation, at least one time in every song, uses mm -hmm. the way that I was. It mm -hmm. was meant to be used. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I meant for it to be used. Right. Right. You know, and I, I do own the patent to GIK, and if you use hey. it the way I use it, yeah, you know, I could have, but I ain't that tight. But I do own that patent. So, so some of them owe you a little money. All of them. Little monties. All of them. Especially if you got it on your album 48 times. <laughs> 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 I'm just not, not that type let's, of dude. Let's take a shot of that. Yeah. Let's take a shot of that right there. Longevity. Longevity. Oh. Uh, this ain't it's, going it's, Scotty, it's Scotty about to. Are you going the whole way? No. Last time you went halfway. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna just take the top off right now. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna, you supposed to pour these? Wow, you know what? <sighs> she's she's letting us know since we've taken over the restaurant today. Uh, I know, right? It's on us to do we everything. Took, we done took it over. Yeah, yeah. Drake just walked in. <laughs> he did. I was like, I was. <laughs> oh shit. It's either him or Matt Barnes. I'm just saying. <laughs> yo, yo, that's funny as shit. Because I was thinking the same when he was but like. But it's the like more Aubrey, though. He's more Aubrey. He with the, with the, okay, you know what? You know we got on headphones. We're talking loud. We're talking loud. <laughs> he, oh, he looked over. She I'm, looked I'm over. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't be fighting in here today now. Damn. Oh, man. Jeez. Nah, man, but it was already, D4L <sighs> was already an, an entity. Like, I, yeah. I just came in and spiced yeah. it up a little bit. It was like. So, so let me ask you. So, so, when you hear the word legend, yeah. do you, uh, how do you feel about that? I don't consider myself a legend. I got a lot of work to do. Really? Really? Yeah, I got a lot of work to do. Like, we were just talking about that earlier about the, the, the time, you know. I mean, I, I know that's how you feel, and, and I, and I yeah. get the humbleness, but you know you're a legend, right? I don't feel like a legend. I mean, you know, it's I, I don't feel like. Well, I, I, I'm I'm telling I you, I just don't see the work in, in, that in, in other in the people eyes, see. Listen, <laughs> in in the eyes of first of all, yeah. first of all, you made Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let, let's just let's just forget everything else. You made Scotty. Yeah. What year did you make Scotty? Uh, 2003, before D4L. What year is this? This is 2020. I can play it right now, and it's like it just came out. Yeah. 
It's the recipe. I can play it right now. It's like it just came out. Man. Yeah, yeah. But see, in, in in this song, I was having a bad day. See, people look at really? the song as the recipe uh, for what they want. Okay, let me give you the game. Really? In this song, I tell you the people who's doing this for me are dangerous. Mm -hmm. I scream help 75 times in the song. At least. So how can you praise something that I'm sitting right here begging for help in? Like it's like it's like this is my call or my plea for help. And at the same time, you know, and and and, and just being in a situation mm. where I am the age I am now with kids and everything. Right, right, right. They have to listen to it too. Right. And, right. Uh, you know, in my situation, that was the song was more therapy than anything for me. But I, I never intended. See, now you make me feel bad. I never intended. I never <sighs> intended for it to be the recipe for you getting high. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like, and that's me. what it is. It huh? was kind of like me pushing my past, you know, uh, away, and I never thought that I, it, it would it would define me to a certain extent, you know, because at the time made, I'm just writing what's on my heart. You made a monster, yeah. but but and that's why it, it was personal. It was real. I never did a video. I never even put the song out. It was just on the album with Laffy Taffy, like, and somebody else picked it up and was like, "Yo, this song is dope too." And never, now that's right. it's you, like you I'm pinned up against the wall. I'm the geek. God or some stuff. If you made a video for it right now, <laughs> it'll go stupid. Yeah. If you made a video I, it right not, now. Believe it or not, I spoke with Jeezy. Yeah. We talked at, um, what was it, Compound? Maybe, maybe make a three, 2020 video for Maybe Scotty. three weeks ago. Maybe three weeks ago. Uh, shout out to Boo. Boo and uh, mm -hmm, KOJ mm -hmm, calling mm -hmm. home from Mississippi. They both from the same area. And Boo was like. I'm going to finish mine. I ain't playing Boo was, it, uh Boo is really trying to push that, getting it done. Shout out to Boo, man. He's a good dude. Hey, man. And uh, Jeezy, he fully on board, which I think making it happen. It. I think you should and, do uh, it. And believe it or not, Brian Barber actually stopped me at Patchwork and was like, yo, let's do the Scotty video. I'm like, yo, this is Brian Barber. Ah. I'm going crazy. Drake mad as shit right now. Aubrey. That's Aubrey. Uh, Aubrey's mad as hell. <laughs> Oh, no, nah, he went out of that J. Cole. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that's more J now, right? He looked like Aubrey at first. He's more J. Cole. Where's the camera guy? He's J. <laughs> <laughs> J. Cole before the money. Oh, he's J. Cole right now. He's J. Cole right now. That's J. Cole in New York yeah, on man. the bicycle with see, a haircut. See, you, you know what? You like my cousin. We can sit in the mall and talk about people. Oh, not the mall. We're going to the parking lot. <laughs> we got to see him before they come in. She going to the food court. <laughs> What's the name of the new single, man? The new single is Do It Again. Do It Again. Yeah. Okay. You got to send it to me because you ain't yeah, sent it to me yeah. yet. Do It Again. Okay. Do It Again is the new single. T t can, can, you, can you hit me with the hook real quick? Do it again, bitch. Do it again, bitch. Uh, lick your tongue. That's your friend. Slap that ass. One more again. Hey. Lick your tongue. That's your friend. Slap that ass. One more again. Uh. Lick your tongue. That's your friend. Slap that ass. You know, I just figured okay. it's a party song for grown-ups. I need it. Yeah. I need it. It's already there. I need it. Yeah, I need it right there. now. <laughs> I wish I had it right now. I'll yeah, play it. It's already there. It's already there. All right. All yeah. right, man. Yeah, man. I just wanted to, uh, you know, stay in my element because Laffy mm -hmm. Taffy is what got me on right. and stayed at the number one right. spot and broke all the records. Not Scotty. And another Scotty song that I can play right now. another song on the album. I can play Laffy Taffy right now. I can play Scotty. <laughs> yeah. It's dope, man. We can keep going. Good music, man. Good keep music. Keep going. Timeless. You was I saw you uh last time I saw you perform was at one music fest. Yeah. And um the I energy. Fell. I fell. I, I saw you. That was crazy. I saw you. But crazy. you kept going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta get back up. You and know, your energy I, is but crazy. Believe it or not, I had never fallen on stage before, ever. First time ever. First time ever. Last time. In front of twenty thousand people. Yeah. Hey, you know. But that's the best place to do it. At. Did, did somebody get it on film? I'm sure they did. Oh yeah, I, I posted it the next day to try to get out get out ahead of it. <laughs> you know, but uh, everybody was like they thought it was part of the show because I got back up so quick, and I'm like definitely like, not no, part of no, the show. No, that wasn't part of it. I shook my head to lose. <laughs> you didn't fall off the stage, did you? No, nah, no, nah, I was actually just. Um, it's so routine to me to do some of these moves that. Mm -hmm. uh, I was working on the Tin Man at the time, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I was supposed to go right into the Tin Man, but mm -hmm. I had shook my head a little, so I came up and went on my feet or something. Man. <laughs> that was all just kind of like instinct or something, and my momentum carried me back, and I was oh. like, wow, I'm on the floor. Yeah, now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they can't hear the sound effects. I'm over here hitting sound oh, effects in this ear. My ears <laughs> like, yo, that is funny. <laughs> now that's funny. <laughs> that's what he's saying. Yeah, man, but uh, my momentum carried me back. 
And uh, it was the first time for oh, everything you man. learn from your mistakes. But yeah. now I make sure when I do my little shaking move, yeah. I give myself about two seconds. To yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of <laughs> yeah. equilibrium is not, yeah. is not off, yeah, right? definitely. But the Tin Man is, is like uh, the new dance that I've been doing or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because I think, I think what my thing is, like I was just saying earlier, it's just all about being original. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody can do the wall. And I love the wall. I I, the same way I love the Dougie. Right. Right, but I just right. look at it as when I came out, it was just Jeezy. Mm -hmm. And Gucci mm -hmm. was beefing and Jeezy mm -hmm. and all of that mm -hmm. stuff was going on. And, it was crazy. You, know, it you was get real money crazy over then. here. Yeah. What is you? Yeah. 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 Nobody seems to remember that that was not one single soul on earth dancing to anything but the one hop one time. Dun, dun, two hop. It was all group dancing. And you had That's the real. Cupid Shuffle That's that was real. coming out the background That's real. down in Dallas Brewing. Mm -hmm. But not one single soul on earth. Right. Unless you was an ex Britney Spears dancer, right. knew, you know right. what was going on. I would give Usher the credit, mm -hmm. genuine mm -hmm. the credit because mm -hmm. they was doing their thing. But mm -hmm. when I came along, it set off this this new age single person dancing. Let me see what you got. Let me see what yeah. your legs can do. Yeah. The, the yeah. Memphis juking yeah. kind of always yeah. been around, yeah. but you know never you know to the point where as I seen them using their arms, you know all of this stuff that right. I was doing. Right. And. Uh, there was some people that was doing it better than me, doing my dance better than me. Mm -hmm, so I mm -hmm. felt like I needed to get better at it. Right. And so that's where you keep get, evolving, evolving. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but to see the culture the way it is now, where everybody want to be in their living room mm -hmm. in front of the camera. I remember mm -hmm. when you stream first came out on YouTube. I'm putting up one of the first videos, and you see it going around online where I got yeah. this hoodie on. Yeah. And I'm in the radio station, and it was like I'm doing the Tiger Woods and that. Yeah. Yeah. All of this. The one video that I think Young I'm Thug. About, I'm about to go find. Young Thug put it in this video. I'm about to go find. Yeah. It. <laughs> that was dope too, Young Thug. He, yeah. He uh, put me in the first video, but I'm I think he, find. They, they did a new video and he put yeah. the uh, part in there. But that part came from Ustream. Wow. Like that was one of the first live videos ever recorded on Ustream. Because I'm that's, about to go find and, it. And I used to do all of the same stuff on YouTube. Like if you yeah. go back and look up my older videos, like like, just like, like first sit YouTube. in front of the camera right. and just talk. Like I felt like this was the future. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, that that standing in front of the camera dancing like you see me dancing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the first video that you see anybody standing right there dancing by themselves. By themselves, like, right. Uh, but right. you got to go all the way back to James Brown in that room with the glass and he was mm -hmm. sitting there talking mm -hmm. about you know mm -hmm. this is how you get it on the, 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 the oh, only yeah, yep, person yep, i seen yep, do that yep, before then yep. so now wow. to see all that's of these real. kids in front of tiktok you know the, the new girl with the renegade dance that's so she's dope killing it she's you killing know, it that's the epitome of yeah. what's, what's they, they did that uh at t-mo's uh she's from t-mo's uh studio oh wow yeah dance studio that's crazy yeah that's crazy mm -hmm. but to see her and she finally got her credit yeah, too yeah yeah i seen her at the hawks game she's killing I, it i thought it was dope she killed it yeah but i mean that's that's what i seen when ustream came on when youtube yeah. said you can be anywhere in the world, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I can see you live. Mm -hmm. That was that was what I thought of. That girl in her doing what she doing for K Camp right now. Right. I was. That was the frame. He was of already mind. I, ahead. I gotta see me do this dance. Mm. You know. And so wow. I was using that platform like that back then, but nobody was watching. Right. Like my videos, right. I had like I got like thirty dance videos up right. from two thousand and four. Right. The same way you see. Do you, Somebody do you still TikTok have, you right still have those videos? Yeah, I, I erased it all. Like, re-upload re them yeah. and watch what yeah, happens. Yeah, but see, I took it down because it was like no views <clears> on my page. Like, no, no views. I bet you if you re-upload them now, yeah. they're going to go stupid. Yeah, yeah. They're going to go stupid. We got all new dances, stupid. man. We, 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 we even better. But no, but see, but no, but see you're going to show yeah, the growth. where it's... Yeah. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Definitely. Tell me about Japan. Yeah, and, then, Japan. and then we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it. We're going to finish it. First, <laughs> you got to finish that shot. This ain't happening. So this we can gonna, do another shot. It's gonna be a slow grind. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me, tell me about Japan, and we going then we gonna wrap wow. on that. Japan is um, it's a great place, man. You mm -hmm. know, but um, it's not America. It's not America. <laughs> I was telling what, you earlier. What, what, you what, draw, what draw? What drew you to Japan? Um, I actually initially went over there after leaving Iraq. Okay. I went to Iraq for one show. Okay. And ended up doing like five shows and touring Iraq or something. Doing, mm -hmm. I mean, it's at the time when it's the green zone. We had Operation Freedom going on at Saddam's Palace. I was mm -hmm. at Saddam's Palace and everything, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Wow. But uh, I left. Wow. I met a guy over there. Uh, he took me to Germany or whatever. We went to Germany, and he was like, "You want to go to Japan?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and when I went to Japan, it was more game show oriented. Okay. It was like mm -hmm. you, you walked off into a big game show. 
Okay. Or something. Right. You know, right. ah, someone's ah, right. 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 Seems, ah, right. you know, it's right. like everybody happy, everybody running to get mm-hmm. stuff done. And I thought it was fascinating, you know. And I end up spending a lot of time there. Yeah. Yeah. Going in the mountains. Yeah. yeah. Working working on meditating. Yeah. Yeah. Your 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 type of meditation. Yeah. But I mean right? but meditation period because you know, you got some people who sit with their legs crossed or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, my knees bad, and I'm just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fable. Fable, you crazy? No, man. what I'm saying is right. <laughs> it actually started with me not wanting to go up the mountain. Okay. Yeah, somebody saying, "Oh, it's a nice view. This is gonna be dope. You're gonna love it." And I didn't appreciate, you know, what what that person was doing for me at right. the time. Right. So I was complaining like, oh, the whole time, you know. Right. right. But in waiting on that person. All the time because you know in Japan. So so you saying as you going up this, the mountain, they, yeah. they, you stopping. You I'm, I'm gonna give viewing. you a little bit more of the story. Then. Yeah, yeah. In Japan, these people are very, they're very loyal, even in death. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. And uh, you have uh, over here, you have Planned Parenthood and a lot of things, people that can help you with different situations. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. In Japan, you know, I don't know if they have systems like that in place, but with the the situation that I was in, that wasn't the system in place for these people. Right. And uh, they had this mountain where you go up here and you get these Buddha statues or whatever okay. for the kids that's lost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, some people who, 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 who've made this journey, they continue to go up the mountain to pay their respects to the kids that's lost. Gotcha. Okay. And this particular person had lost two kids. But at the time, they weren't telling me the story. It's like, mm-hmm. yo, can you mm-hmm. go up this cemetery? Can you go up this mountain with right, me? And, right, right, And I'm right, like, I don't want right, to go up there. But right. when I found out why, you know, that this person was going up the mountain all the time like this, it, it kind of had a different effect on me. And right. so when I go off waiting, now I'm waiting and I'm trying to figure out something to do the whole time. I'm up here right. instead of complaining. Right. And I started dancing. Wow. Yeah. And now, now here comes some more evolving. Yeah, I, it, the evolution came. <coughs> right. It just came. Right. I can see all the dances that was popping off back in America. I can mm-hmm. see everything that was going mm-hmm. on, and I just wanted to compete. But, you know, I'm not showing it to anybody. It's like the internet wasn't what it is right now, even back right. in 2017. Or, no, it wasn't. You know? it, it's, it's always evolving. Yeah, it's always evolving. So wow. when, I, when I came back, I was wow. well seasoned. I well, was so, ready. So now you can be on your toes for 30 minutes. I probably can. And not creasing your jades. I probably could. And drinking all whiskey with Silver Knight. That won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> tell them how they can find you, man. Instagram, website, and tell them about uh, the new single again, please. Yo, the new single is uh, Do It Again. The new project is uh, The Jedi Returns. I also have a single called uh, Star Wars. Star. I yeah, love it. But it's more on the Scotty. It. It's more on the Scotty. Uh-oh. You know. Uh-oh. Because yeah. I got to get both sides something. You know, the yeah. do it again is more the laffy taffy. Yeah. You know, but more for grown ups. I want to okay. make sure to stay away from your kids this time. So you, it's got some stuff in there that make sure you don't take it home from the club. Because I got, <laughs> I got persecuted for these women leaving the club with the song and taking it home, and their kids getting and they curse me out. I'm like, yo, I'm not the one that took it home from the club. They was dancing at home, I guess. I don't know, nah, man. But uh, I mean, you did say you was looking I just for didn't want the Miss Bubblegum. I'm Mr. Chico Stick. And a da da da. Yeah, I mean, it was just basically, you know, what I was talking about. <laughs> it was a grown-up song. It was very, from, it was from very the creative. It was a grown-up song. Very creative. You know, so, uh, but being persecuted like that mm-hmm. for something that you had no control over is. Yeah. And I like to tell people, we was promoting. Bet you can't do it like me. Like, yep, yep. Was, that's real. This was because that, that's what I was playing yeah, in prime time, but I was also everyone. playing. Like, but when we would get up. Yeah. On, and at prime time, yeah, you, you know, yeah, yeah, we would yeah. get up and we would perform Laffy Taffy first. Yeah. But the crowd would right. take all the energy right at, at that song. And by the time we get the bitch can't do it like me, it's like, oh, okay, I've seen that shit before. Mm-hmm. 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 You know? I remember all that, man. Yeah. So the song kind of had legs of its own. Yeah. Yeah. Website? Yeah. Geekcity.com. G I K C I T Y. Geekcity.com. Instagram, I am Fabo. You can find me everywhere, man. I'm verified everywhere. Do you, do you reply to your to your fans when they when they talking to you? Now I do since the Kizzy Rock situation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anybody you, to feel you like you ain't trying to watch no more I, cars. I don't get slapped. <laughs> just, just dude looked and like he got he a was, big hand. Yo, huh? dude looked like he was heated. I was, you crazy? I'm like, dude, I got an MA and a BA. I'm not crazy at all. Like, you know, you, you got the wrong guy. You feel that, me? But I mean that perception hilarious. of you yep. when you're not around. Right. I think people when I'm since I haven't been here, the narrative have been written for me because mm-hmm. of the songs that you hear. Right, right. But I right. never put that song out. You never. know, that's another thing never. about it is this narrative has been created 
and I didn't even put the narrative out there. It was like, I want to know something about Fabo. Oh, he get high. You're damn lie. Like, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm a great young man. You just got to well, get I've seen you a million yeah. times over the years. I ain't never seen you like I mean, this. They know. haven't either. But yeah. it's the songs. It's said, the songs. The song just says it's the so much. The way they say, the reputation precedes you. Nah, man, but when you're listening to this music, sometimes it's good to just listen to it. Yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah. you do meet a lot of people, like, you know, you get Whitney from that crack is whack and this yeah. old type of stuff. And so nobody can defend themselves from these did accusations. You, did but, you just go there? Yeah, I'm just did saying. Because <laughs> when you hear Scotty's calling me, the first thing I thought about when I first heard it was Pookie going, Scotty, help, yeah, help me. Help me, help me, help me. You know what I mean? Yeah. But for yeah. me, it yeah. was like, the making an analogy uh you know yeah tying something to something that i could relate to right. i mean right i don't know how to explain it but in the moment you just thinking and actually the story behind the song is one of my homeboys got shot 17 times mm. and uh i went to the studio at like six o'clock that morning i was mm -hmm. pissed off mm -hmm. mad mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so if you can hear the end of the mm. song you can hear me saying free more i love you man superstar this that and at, at the end yep. of the song i actually do all of this talking for a long time, and if you listen to the talking, you can you can hear my pain. But people just listening mm. to the song. So they just hear the song. I'm glad yeah. they love it though, man. What what uh what what uh three thousand said? Y'all yeah. don't hear me. Y'all just want to dance. I, I, that's crazy. You said that because me and me and Dre just had a crazy conversation. About oh a yeah. Ago. Yeah. Oh. You would have wanted to be a fly in the room. Yeah. On the wall. Yeah. It was just me, him, mm. and uh. Well, who was it? Mm. In that? It was just me, him, and and uh, was it Harvey Miller, Speedy? DJ Speedy? DJ Speedy, yeah. yeah. It was me Ooh. and the Speedy in the room, and it was just like... You, you want to drop any tidbits from that conversation, or is it all... I mean, he's basically out here mm. saying the same thing he was telling me then. I was like, why you ain't put out an album, this, that, that, another? And he was just talking about his motivation, man. Like, yeah. what's my motivation? And I felt like that for years, too. It's like, right. if you leave while you got six songs in the top 100, mm -hmm. it's like, I just walked off. It was like, this shit boring. Yeah. To a certain extent, but yeah. I didn't appreciate what what I was doing at the time, and I didn't appreciate the love that I was getting at the time. But right, right. people don't realize the climate was different. It's like when I was out here saying I'm geeked up, I was being persecuted. Right, like right. I mean, literally. Now, now it was super cool. Like it, 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 if yeah. you had me on your show, they right. would cancel the show. Right, because right. I'm singing geeked up. Right now, right. it's in every song, and you know, and I'm like, thank you. And, and not only extent. is it every song, it's worse. Like it's worse. They're, they're saying way worse shit. So you should have let me give you the message, then, <laughs> so it wouldn't have been tainted like it is now. It, is it hard? Is it hard now? You know, and, and like I said, we we toss around this yeah. word legend. Is it hard now uh, trying to get back to a certain status now? Yeah, I'm, I've been writing for years. I got two songs in the top ten right now. I mean, I found out writing paid more. So right. The right. whole time I've been gone, I've been writing like. Well, I'm, well, I mean, I mean, as as a personal, as as you putting out new music. No, nah, it's not. It's not are hard. People, are people <laughs> jumping on it, gravitating? Is, it's, it's, you know? it's not hard. It's no pressure. It's not Good. hard when you walk away. Good. You know, it's Good. I walked away for a reason because right. I'm, I'm I'm watching the news every day. You did day. it for you. No, it's, I did it for yeah, basically me. Yeah. Because yeah. if you're being persecuted for something that you love, it's like they don't understand. Just like give them a, give them a minute to catch up. Gotcha. You know, that was gotcha. basically how I felt. And, uh, you know, trying to scream at the choir at the time, it just wasn't happening. You feel me? Because I was in a group, so I really didn't have right. a voice for myself, too, right. at the time. Right. So, you know, to see it see it where it's at right now, it's in a great place because, you know, social media gives you a chance to have mm -hmm. that outlet nowadays. Mm -hmm. I didn't have that outlet. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's like you scream, like, no, this is not what I mean. Right, you know, right. But, but. Um, <laughs> and they can see you more per No, you be having me cracking up on IG, man. <laughs> Come here. Come, Come here. here. You be having me dying with that oh, shit. Oh. Give, give, give me, give me one. Give me one. Oh, give me one. You know what? Give it's, me one. It's crazy. Cause give you, me one. It's crazy because you just said that. Right? <laughs> I, I had one on my mind. <laughs> give me just one. Just one. Give All me, right. give me a fresh one. So you trying to act funny with that little IRS tech? Well, watch your kids in the morning, bitch. Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to say watch Fable. your own kids in the morning, Fable. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the come is about, man. You know, stuff that you can't say, that you really want to say to people. Because yeah, people me, get offended. You be having me dying. People get offended when you say certain stuff. Like, yeah, it's like, yeah, uh, yeah. it's like, uh, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want to give this example, but it's, uh -oh. a, it's a perfect example. Uh -oh. Girls, girls sorry, walk sorry, up and sorry, say, sorry, sorry, ladies. Girls look, walk look, up look, look at Brianna's and, face. And you saw I, her face. I mean, but it's it's, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's like. Give, if, give, give it, give it to me and come here. Okay, you guys. I really want to say this, but I'm saying you got some women who who won't work out, uh -oh. and you know some of them mm -hmm. that just won't. 
They tell you all the time, girl, I got to get this. I got to do that. I got to do this or whatever. Woo, woo, woo. And you do buying your Berkeley bags. He's doing right. all of this stuff right. for you. Right. And you keep putting them in a situation where every time you go out or you do something or whatever, it's like, yo, how do I look? Oh, I don't want to wear this. And then you run it back in trying to change it. I got to put on some black because I uh-huh. look too big. Uh-huh. And, you know, don't put people in situations <laughs> like that. That's what the comment is for. To help you make that transition, get up, walk in there, spend five minutes stretching. Spend two more minutes just getting that little <laughs> sit up sitting or something. Like, don't keep putting me in a situation where I got to tell you a lie. I want to tell you the truth. You look great this morning, honey. You look beautiful. And that's how it is with my girl. I mean, I, I can tell her that because she'll give about Get five minutes to herself. You know what I mean? Now put that in the come here, in the come, come here, here form. No, yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 basically <laughs> yeah. to say what what you want to say. Some real shit, and, and then if, put some comedy on it, so so people won't be offended. It's like okay, right. let me give you another example. If you, <laughs> I mean, practice make perfect, 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 right? Practice make this the that's the alcohol. Practice make perfect, per, right? Per, perfect. Practice make perfect. But if you keep going out here getting called for stealing cars, dude, <laughs> this is not your hustle. This at some point in time, it's just stupid as hell. You know what I mean? Come here. <laughs> You need to try robbing banks. I'm sorry. <laughs> you might be better at that. <laughs> nah, but don't go rob a bank. But No, I mean, don't do it. That's what the comedy is for, just to kind of let people know what's happening. Yo, his, his IG is full of this. Yeah. It kills me. Yeah, I'm having fun, man, you know. It's, it's definitely so, a different So, new music, thing. having fun. Yeah, it's up, man. I'm everywhere. I'm all, I, I never left. I've been writing the whole time. A lot yeah. of the songs that yeah, you I sing. Yeah, I heard that you be behind the scenes. Yeah, you, you a know. lot of the songs that you sing every day. You ain't going to tell me um, what they are, so yeah. I ain't going to ask. <laughs> I mean, all you got to do is look at the song. You'll see LaFadia yeah, right. Williams up here home music right. on it. Right, So, if you see that on right. there, I'm a part of that. We might be cousins, man. We got the same last name, hey. man, you know. Uh, we must have got out the same ship or something. <laughs> My grandmama got raped by the same person yours did. Goddamn. It's either one. God damn, Sabo. <laughs> Shit. Where you been? <laughs> Man, it's down the street down here. You know, it's about damn. a mile. It's hard to walk in the dark. Ladies and gentlemen, this oh! is Fabo. Ah! Play, boy. Thank you, man. Good Thank stuff, you. man. <laughs> Sorry I couldn't take but one and a half shots. I got to drive. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even get no chicken wings, man. Hey, man, we're going to try these before we Oh, we're going to bust them down. Definitely. This little try. gnat been trying oh, to get I'm them the whole that time. too. That's all protein. Oh, that gnat, yeah. That's protein. <laughs> that's, that's flavor. That's crazy. Chocolate cover. You ever ate chocolate covered ants or chocolate covered I've roaches? Heard, I, I, well, I've heard about you know, grasshoppers and scorpion. ants. I've heard about scorpions. Man, you got to go to Thailand. You ate all that shit. Yeah. Tell, tell, me, tell, tell them what you told me about this drink with the snake oh, in it. So it's I'm going down the street in Okinawa. And uh, it's like a traditional festival going on. So it's like all of these Japanese older cats out mm-hmm. and they, you know, celebrating this festival, mm-hmm. whatever it mm-hmm. was at the time. I'm sorry, I don't know if you're J- Japanese, I don't know it. Mm-hmm. But um, it's like these three old guys sitting on the porch or whatever. And man, my friend was originally playing with them, like, yo, let's see what they're doing. Nah, mm-hmm. nah, nah, nah. And the guy was like, you want to try this drink? Because I, I, I was like, yeah, I'll try to drink. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. So he take us in the back or whatever. And he pull out this jar that's got like this cloth on top of it with the rubber band and stuff. And inside this jar is a big cobra snake rolled up inside of this, this, this liquid. And I was like, what's that? And he go, whiskey. And I was like, whiskey? That's the only word he spoke in English the entire time. And I'm telling you, it was some of the richest whiskey I ever tasted in my life. It was better than Jack Daniels, Jim Bean. It was like serious. With a cobra in it. But I thought I was gonna die after I drank it. <laughs> Because for two days, my stomach was liquefied, like literally, like everything was liquid. Like I mm. literally thought it had ate my intestines and everything. And I needed to get out of Japan and get back to the U.S. to get care. And he probably drinking that shit every He probably drinking that right now. They was like literally down at the next day in the exact same spot. And he drunk every drink that I drank. Mm-mm. So I, I guess it was I would have ran to, from that Cobra, Faye. Yeah, I think I got ulcers right mm. now because of that. <laughs> Nah, man, it's a traditional drink in Japan, man. You got to try it out. That was a good one. That was good. (laughs) Moral to the story is... The moral to the story is... Don't do dumb shit. (laughs) Boy, you remind me of my uh, my boy Tyler, the comedian on that one. That's the (laughs) funniest shit. Yeah, man, we all think that we the toughest people in the world until we run into them three old dudes in Japan. With the cobra in the glass. Drink this. (laughs) Mm Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 
Yeah, mm -mm. I swung from the, the room. Uh, <laughs> you would think I was a monkey in the room for about two days. I was tripping. That's yours too, by the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to be a trooper and finish it. Yeah, now that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and we done. And we done on that. Saucy.